Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And by a few requests, I'm gonna make a Town Hall 11 video, especially because I have a Town Hall 11 V11 three star to show you guys today. And basically, this video is just the essentials for Town Hall 11 two attack strategies I think every Town Hall 11 should know. Of course, there's more beyond this one, but I think I have what, in my opinion, are the best. Uh, strategies the best 11 v 11 strategy then the best 11 v 10 strategy that are probably the priorities if you're a town hall 11 get the troops and uh, of course your heroes but get the troops i'm talking about in this video get those maxed out first and practice uh first and foremost using these strategies and they will serve you the best so Town Hall 11, the essentials, what you need to know. This first one is an 11 v 11, and when you're attacking a Town Hall 11 base, you have the luxury of being able to basically choose which Town Hall 11 you want to attack in most wars, because there typically will be a couple, and oftentimes the Town Hall 11s are just dipping, so if you do have an attempt at a three star, you can pretty much choose any Town Hall 11 base to do it on that's still left up. Uh, it's a good problem to have, to have to decide between what bases to hit with an 11 attack, because oftentimes all the attacks are spent dipping. So this is probably the most ideal base you could find for an 11v11 triple with the mass Laloon strategy, which is by far and away the most popular strategy for 11v11 three stars. So the main key things in this base are the four air defenses in the four corners. If they are all on one side of the base, it's still doable, makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, you typically wanna have the four air defenses somewhat spread out. Also, it helps that, um, well, a few wizard towers are in range two, archer towers, it's just good central tanking locations, plus two of the expos <clears throat> are on ground, which makes it better, of course, for a La Luna attack. And it's just great loon pathing. So um, when looking at how to attack the base, you want to come from one of the shorter sides. You don't want to spread yourself too thin. So either this side up here or this side down here and go for the eagle first. If it's offset like this, attack it first because um, it can do some serious damage to big groups of loons and stuff like that. So attack that side first. And there's three anchor defenses, one, two, three, meaning those are, those are three defenses you can deploy balloons on. Um, so if there's not, if there's like only one, you might wanna take it out to expose more. So when you deploy your big group of loons, they don't all clump up. But three is enough, typically three to four is good because from this archer tower, they'll go to these two wizard towers, to this eagle, and then either the air defenses, but if those are down, they'll go straight to the core. From the mortars, they go into the archer tower, then they go kind of just pinballing along the side of the base. So three nice groups can all take out the base. The pathing is good. As long as he gets some loons to the core, we'll talk about how he gets them to the core during the attack, and uh, one of the tricks Town Hall 11s are able to use. But of course, a few skeleton spells because this is going with the Laloon first, then using the heroes for cleanup. There's one small adjustment um, I think should have been made to this attack strategy or this uh, specific attack on this base that I'll talk about when it happens. But here are the loons, uh, basically spreading them out. I think a Tesla pops too, which is another anchor point, which is good. Um, it just keeps your loons spread out. Then if you look at the spells, he brings uh, mostly hastes, the rages are for high HP, such as the Eagle, Inferno Towers, but typically haste spells are better than rage because you can spread them uh, out more and you can bring more of them. And of course, the clone spell, you'll see how that's used in a moment. But the tome, uh, the tome is gonna be used very early, um, right before they go into the core. There's the clone spell. The clone spell is to add balloons where you need it, typically on Inferno Towers, Eagles, um, high defense populated areas of the base. That's where you want to clone and money on the tome right there, getting almost all the balloons affected. There's one more rage to take out those high HP expos and inferno towers, and then has a few haste at the end of the attack to speed up the loons. Basically, you're not bringing a whole lot of lava hounds. He only brought three, and that's about how many you want to bring. Even though there's four air defenses, and you might think to bring more, Loons are what's king here. You have level seven balloons. The warden is so effective with those loons. Make sure you clone the loons and not the hound. That's important. Now, 
When it comes to dropping your heroes, typically on the back end of the base to take out whatever defenses are still left up, don't wait till everything's dead. Do it so there's kind of mutual tanking back and forth between your heroes and the, whatever loons are still up. Now, unfortunately, the CC did not go down. A few extra minions on the CC might have helped, but the wizard towers were guarding it anyway, so couldn't have done much there. I don't like how he dropped his heroes on opposite sides of the base. The heroes are typically best together because the king uh, can tank for the queen. If you spread them out too much, the queen um, might get targeted early. In this case, she actually locked onto that Lava Hound, but the king is up, and he will finish off this base along with the Grand Warden. So a nice attack. That's the basic idea of the strategy. Look for a base that looks like this, that has the nice loon pathing, a good amount of anchor defenses. If the um, defenses are in weird locations and the pathing is kind of weird, it can make it difficult for your loons to move through the base, but try to have them go in one wave through the base, not carving out the core and leaving defenses surrounding it, but going through in a single wave, similar to the next attack we're going to take a look at, which is, in my opinion, the most reliable uh 11v10 dip attack, so to speak, um, typically called dips. This is the mass miner, and this is Mercer doing it. The idea is to use the heroes to funnel and then just send in those miners with the warden and overpower the base. And I know there's, dra I know Dragloon is a very popular strategy. There's Hogs, even some Bola Loon. Those are all good options, but this is the best, I think in terms of being reliable and the, the best chance of getting the three star, which honestly you should be getting even on fresh attacks if you're a Town Hall 11 dipping down. So notice how the, uh, the heroes are used to clear out defenses on either side of the base, and then the miners are spread along one side going through the base using that funnel that was created by the heroes. Now, notice that CC miner deployment on this elixir storage. The main thing that can ruin an attack with the miners is that they get too clumped up and they ignore defenses, they get surrounded, and they slowly get just eaten up over time. You want to keep them at going through in a wave. Like we saw with the Laloon attack, the balloons move through in a single wave, um, kind of just cutting across the base, not leaving any defenses behind on the outsides. Same thing with the miners. So a good adjustment, dropping the CC to make sure he isn't too focused on this side of the base, that he gets the entire face uh, that he's coming at. And a good eternal tome, typically use it early. The heal spells are for specific groups of miners. The rage is also good if you pair it with the eternal tome. Um, but no more than one rage. Typically heals are much better because the miners already do enough damage in big groups that you don't need to rage them up. Just need to heal them. It helps to attack bases that have the Inferno Towers in this formation where one's on one side, one's on the other. New bases might have two Infernos kind of on the same side of the base. And you can still hit those with miners. You just have to be a little bit more careful. Um, you can only bring one Dark Spell at Town Hall 11. So be careful with how you use that poison. If there's a loon in the CC, that all you have to kill that loon is pretty much the poison. The warden's not very good at killing uh, CC troops. So you gotta make sure you're accurate with that poison spell. Make sure you take out that balloon and uh, Skellies can be an issue. Just heal over the important parts of the base, such as Inferno Towers, Bomb Towers, Wizard Towers, um, high defensive areas on the base, and you should be fine. That's that's the strategy, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, something to help those Town Hall 11s out there who are looking for kind of the go-to strategies. These are the two, in my opinion, Miners for 10 or 11v10 and Laloon for the 11v11s, but also experiment, experiment with dragons, with other stuff as well, um, once you get comfortable with this. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.